السلام علیکم گائز اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل بایولوجی آرٹیکلس اینڈ ایم سی کیوز ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے نیو ٹاپک دیٹ از کانڈیلائڈ جوائنٹ دیٹ از اے مین ٹائپ آف سائنوویل جوائنٹ یو نو دیٹ دیر آر ٹوٹل سکس ٹائپس آف سائنوویل جوائنٹ اف یو ہیو ناٹ اسٹڈیز دا ادر ٹائپس آف دا سائنوویل جوائنٹ دین آئی ول گیو دا لنک ان دا ڈسکرپشن باکس سو Moving towards the structure of condylar joint, the um, two bones that are present along the condylar joint differ in their structure. You can see that there is a first bone here and the second bone that is present along the condylar joint. The difference between the structure of the both bones is that the first bone that is present uh, uh, here has a hollow shape end here. and the second bone will have an oval shaped structure and that oval shaped structure is mainly called condyle in this condylar joint this oval shaped structure means condyle will fit into the hollow end of the first bone and that uh, joint that will form will be a condyloid joint the other name for the condylar joint is ellipsoidal joint As you know that ellipsoidal is an oval shaped structure. Moving to this diagram, you can uh, see here an oval shaped structure that is present at the uh, end of one bone. There due to this oval shaped structure that is mainly called condyle in this condylar joint, it this joint is called ellipsoidal joint. If I talk about the range of movement of the condylar joint then the condylar joint is allowing a two range movement or uh, the movement along the two axis two axis means the condylar joint will give the movement in the upward and downward direction and from side to side movement means that the bones that is carrying the condylar joint in your body can move up and down and also from left side to right side as you are seeing in this diagram this bone is moving from upward to downward direction and also from right side to left side the main example of the condylar joint is the joint that is present between the finger and palm as you can see in this diagram there is a hand the consisting of a palm and the fingers the joints present at these points are mainly condylar joints as i have told you that the condylar joint give, will give a two axis uh, movement then you can see that these uh, fingers can move from the uh, left side to the right side this is one axis movement and the second axis is shown here that is uh, uh, the second axis is from upward to downward direction you can see that this main joint that is condylar joint is giving the, uh, the finger uh, the direction or the movement to your finger that is mainly in the direction of upward to downward direction i hope you have understand all about the condylar joint in the next video you will learn about the ball and socket joint and if you have any difficulty regarding the any topic of biology you can comment the name of the topic below thank you so much